What's going on guys, Unofficial Star Wars here, hope you're all doing well, and in today's video we're talking about some recent news here with the Slave One, some controversy here going on with the whole Slave One name in the Star Wars universe, in the Star Wars spectrum of things, so without further ado, let's just jump right on into it and hear what's going on. Of course, please do keep in mind that I'm only here to really guys, you know, spread the news here and inform you guys, and other than that, I'm not really here to share my personal opinions on this whole idea and topic, but if you do want to hear my own, I guess, personal, I guess, opinions and feelings about this whole understanding and topic and what here is really at hand do stay tuned for the end of the video closer towards the end on where i'm going to go and talk a little bit about my own thoughts and opinions here on this whole spectrum of things what's going on here exactly so with that the overall news is the whole idea that lego the toy company the building blocks company has come out with new uh, star wars summer sets more mostly geared here towards the clone wars the bad batch and the mandalorian season two which of course is really really exciting for all of you i guess fans of lego i am for one one of those people do check out unofficial lego for my lego related content anyways in that whole lineup of all these new sets that lego is coming out with this summer there of course is a slave one set and rather than naming it the slave one on the normal box art like they've normally done for all the different types of versions of slave one set hey that lego has really done i guess in the past years it's always been named the slave one on these boxes they've always called it the slave one but instead this year for whatever reason they're calling it the boba fett's starfighter ship and this is causing fans actually to like just go crazy over this whole idea and i personally am not i i really I'm not too sure as of why. Now, of course, there is the whole idea, and this quite honestly makes some sense to, to myself quite personally um, as of to why they might have wanted to change this name, but it's not really Disney. People are bringing Disney into this whole spectrum of things, and yes, I know that Lego and Disney work quite closely on, you know, Lego's projects especially because Lego's trying to make these accurate models and toys and replicas after, I guess, different things from the Star Wars universe, which makes perfect sense. However, there is the whole idea that in the name slave one there is the term used slave and as we all know there have been slaves and slavery has been a huge worldwide problem of course for many centuries and centuries and then aside from that many people i guess can find this whole term of the term slave offensive in some ways and terms i guess and quite honestly that makes sense to myself quite personally i understand where those people be could, could be coming from and i can see where lego could be coming from with that it's a kid's toy it's meant for kids not necessarily adults so they wouldn't want to to write i guess slave all over these boxes and and their toys and you know hey buy the slave one and all that type of stuff because it could be kind of a offensive term so that is really the overall gist as of what's going on here with this whole controversy if you haven't already heard the whole idea of it basically to sum it up in some terms i guess here is the whole idea of lego coming out with this new i guess lego set and naming it boba fett's starfighter rather than calling it the slave one and boy oh boy does it have many people many star wars fans and i'm I'm gonna say it man babies that are all i guess have their teas up in a bunch and are all complaining about this whole idea so with that here are my own i guess opinions and thoughts on this whole over idea first of all i kind of just dipped a little into it calling you all man babies out there that are complaining about this whole idea because you kind of are it's a kid's toy for, for one thing yes of course i know i'm kind of calling myself a man baby but i'm not the one that's trotting around complaining about lego changing the name to a, a lego set i do collect lego of course check out unofficial lego if you have already that's where i showcase and show off and do all types of lego type of content i guess however anyways if you are one of those people that are really i guess upset overall this whole idea of this name being changed to something that's kind of more kid friendly i guess in some ways um well let's take a look at some other lego star wars sets for instance earlier this year we got a new brand new luke's x-wing notice how i called it luke's x-wing rather than the red five and why is that that isn't because red five is i guess offensive in any types of ways but just because it's luke's i guess x-wing it's just to kind of simplify stuff people aren't always going to necessarily know the whole terms and and i guess in in dictionary star wars universe terms like like the slave one or like the red five or even like the ray the razor crest that we see in the mandalorian that had also had a name change rather than me calling the razor crest they actually called it the mandalorian bounty hunter i guess um transport or something along those lines and anyway i think it was due to like a whole copyright issue anyway that happened in europe so i think in the you know usa boxes it's called um just the razor crest but anyway i just think that this whole idea that i'm going to take it two things from this overall and i want you guys to take two things from this 
it's not that deep. It's really not that big of a deal. I don't think it's Disney's fault necessarily. I think it's just Lego doing their thing over there. They do this to other Lego sets, of course. And I think more or less, it's just really to simplify things because not everybody, I guess, is that obsessed with Star Wars kind of like we are. Anyway, aside from all of that, I kind of want to apologize to you guys. I was kind of feisty, I feel like, uh, in this video, throughout the video. I just watched it back, of course, to see if everything was okay. And I was just thinking to myself, man, I sound really mean. So, sorry guys if I sound kind of mean. But, hey, when you're as big as a Star Wars fan as I am, I'm really going to get into it. So, anyway, I want to know all of your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section down below. What do you guys all think about this? Do you care? Do you, do you care? Do you think it's a big deal? And then, I kind of want to leave you guys with one final, final thought here. And I think that this could also very well be the, the other case, maybe, or part of the whole reason and playing out to why they maybe are calling it the Boba Fett Starfighter in this, I guess, terms. And that's probably just Lego watching their back and not trying to really get canceled, I guess, by, I guess, you know, cancel culture or anything like that. So there's that whole idea as well. I mean, I wouldn't want to wake up and see that Star Wars, Lego Star Wars is canceled because people got offended over it. And I, I prefer that Lego would rather watch their backs on this whole idea if that is the case, actually. Anyway, like I had mentioned, let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section down below. I absolutely love to see and hear what you guys all think, especially on a topic like this. Leave a like on the video if you'd enjoy it. It literally takes you two seconds and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We're coming up here on 800 subscribers guys thank you so much for all the love and support both here on our youtube and our instagram it means the absolute world to me anyway i'll catch you guys in the next video the force will be with you always and peace out